what are some ways to balance work and home life without sacrificing one or the other? I think the first thing is understanding that there will never be a balance, that everything will never be perfectly balanced. So now that we've got that out of the way, now is trying to figure out how to create the most balance, which to me kind of is, the way I look at it is more like harmony than balance. And it's more harmony than it is balance. And to me, it's more recognizing the imbalances. It's more being aware when one area of your life gets out of balance and being able to then quickly, quickly adjust. The only way that you're gonna be able to quickly adjust when you notice those imbalances is through communication. And I read this uh, this week in, I think it was the Huffington Post, and it said, work and life aren't binary. Balance is dynamic, not static. And life is much more complex than just being non-work. Non so it's not life and non-work, right? Work-life balance is a fantasy and believing in it is holding us back from true happiness. 100%. Well, I wanna know, for me, I wanna find out when am I out of balance? Like when, when am I skewed one way or the other? If it's family, if it's work, if it's my body, if it's my mind, I wanna figure out where that imbalance is as quickly as possible. Then I wanna be able to adjust accordingly when I am aware of the imbalance. So not just being aware, but taking action. The way I like to look at it now is just look at like, am I thriving in all the different areas? And so that may mean like, I don't need to work less if I need to spend more time with my family. I may need to sleep less. I may need to like hang out with friends less. I need to go to less happy hours. I need to go to less, you know, extracurricular activities, anything that's going on outside of work and family. Maybe I need to do those things less. But it, I think people use that as this crutch or this excuse to say like, you don't, you don't ever hear the conversation, you don't ever hear this conversation. Man, I've been crushing it at home this quarter. Next quarter, I'm gonna take it off a little bit at, at home and I'm gonna go like all in at work. Like that conversation doesn't exist. Communication is gonna give your relationships the ability to let you know that things are out of balance if you haven't been aware of it already, but then it's gonna let you know how to adjust those things so that you can get back in somewhat of a balance. What you're gonna realize is as quickly as you get in balance, you're gonna get out of balance in another area. So it's this constant flow, and that's why I love looking at it as this just kind of harmony, the, the way you go through life. And so I think this will be a constant theme throughout your life once you become aware, uh, hyper aware, is this idea of awareness, action, awareness, action, awareness, action. How quickly can I come become aware? How quickly can I take action on what I just became aware of? <laughs>